Hello everyone. In this video, let us study on the topic linear independence in case of vector. If we consider a set of vectors v1, v2 up to vk, we can call this set as linearly independent provided if the equation of the equation has a trivial solution. What is meant by trivial solution? A trivial solution is this equation can be made zero only by making the variables x1, x2 up to xa equal to zero. If it becomes zero by some other means, then it is called as linearly dependent. And the equation x1 v1 plus x2 v2 up to xk vk equal to zero is called as linear dependent relation or it is called as equation of linear dependence. In case of a wide matrix, uh, where you have number of rows less than the number of columns, then it is called as a matrix with linearly dependent columns. Uh, for example, it can be a 2 by 2 cross 3 matrix where we have 2 rows and 3 columns or we can have 3 cross 5 matrix that is we have 3 rows and 5 columns. In such cases, uh, we call the matrix has linearly dependent columns. Let us try to understand some of the facts about linear independence. Now, first fact is two vectors are linearly dependent if and only if they are collinear. For example, let me take two vectors here, 1, 0 and 2, 0. They are in a straight line. I can obtain the second vector by multiplying the first vector by 2. So that's why I can say that they are linearly dependent. That is what it says. By multiplying one vector with a scalar quantity, I can get the second vector. Uh, second fact is about a set of vectors v1, v2, vk is linearly dependent if and only if one of the vectors is in the span of the other one, any such vector may be removed without affecting the span. So I will consider a set where I have three vectors 1, 0, 2, 0 and 0, 1 and that I have represented graphically here. This is 1, 0. Multiplying this vector with 2, I get 2, 0. They are collinear in nature and there is a third vector, 0, 1, here. The span of 1, 0, 2, 0 is like this is a span and the 0, 1 has a span like this. So you can observe here, these two are linearly dependent, but by multiplying any of these vectors by a constant, I cannot get the third vector, 0, 1. So third vector is not in the span of other two vectors. I can remove 2, 0. Still, I am going to retain the span of uh, 1, 0. Span will remain. If I remove 1, 0, still I get a span uh, which will remain because of the existence of 2, 0. And the uh, third one says that if there is a set which contains a 0 vector, then also it is going to be a linearly dependent vector. Because instead of 2, 0, if I have 0, 0, I can easily get by multiplying with the scalar quantity here 0. So I multiply with 0, I am going to get 0, 0. Therefore, any set which contains a 0 vector is linearly dependent. And the last one says that if out of the 3, here you can see that only 2 are uh, linearly dependent. And that if a subset is linearly dependent, then I should call the entire set as linearly dependent. Now, let us try to understand the concept of linear dependency by solving some problems. Given S equal to span of two two-dimensional vectors, 2, 3, and 7, 0.
it can be written as C1 multiplied by 2, 3. 2, 3 is a vector multiplied with the scalar quantity C1. Second vector is multiplied with the scalar quantity C2. Let it be equal to B1, B2 on the right hand side. Let me write it in the form of equation. 2C1, 7C2 is equal to B1, 3C1 is equal to B2 which gives you C1 is equal to B2 by 3. So I have 2 into B2 by 3 plus 7C2 is equal to B1. So it gives me C2 is equal to B1 minus 2B2 by 3 divided by 7. So let us check for the linear dependency. In case of linear dependency, we have to make this B1, B2 is equal to 0. In such cases, we will see that C1 is equal to 0, C2 is equal to 0. So, I can say that S is a linearly independent set. So, it is li linearly independent because it has only trivial solution. C1 is 0, C2 is 0. And also we can say that S is a basis in two dimensional space R squared. Let us try to solve the second problem under linear dependency. We have been given a matrix of dimension 3 by 3. That is it is 2. 4, 1, 1, 2, 0, 5, 0, 0. We have to check for linear dependency. Let us write this as three columns as sum of three vectors multiplied with the scalar quantity. So, C1 multiplied with 2, 1, 5 plus C2 multiplied with 4, 2, 0 and C3 multiplied with 1, 0, 0. This is equal to 0, 0, 0. We can call this matrix columns are linearly independent provided we get a trivial solution C1 equal to C2 equal to C3 equal to 0. So, we will write the equations 2C1, 4C2 plus C3 equal to 0. I have C1, 2C2 equal to 0, 5C1 equal to 0 which gives me C1 equal to 0. If I substitute in the previous equation will give me C2 equal to 0. Since C1 and C2 are 0 from the first equation I am going to get C1 equal to 0. So I can write the three columns of the given matrix are linearly independent. And the bases are two, one, five, four, two, zero, one, zero, zero. And we say that they span the surface R to the power three. We'll take the third problem. Uh, we need to show that 
the given set of vectors is equal to first vector is 0 1 1 second vector is 1 0 1 and the third vector is 1 1 0 we need to show that it spans the three dimensional space and also we need to write the vector 2 4 8 as a linear combination of these three vectors. So, let me write this in the form of matrix that is 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 0. This needs to be multiplied with the scalar quantity first vector with C1, second vector with C2, third vector with the C3. That should be equal to B1, B2, B3 on the right hand side. So, ultimately I can call this matrix as A, this as C, this as B. So, A into C is equal to B. I can get C, the values for C1, C2, C3 by A inverse of B. So, if you take the inverse of A, so I am going to get A inverse as minus 0 0.5 0.5 as the determinant of this a is 2 I am going to get this as minus 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 0 0.5 this is 0 0.5 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 this is a non-singular matrix because determinant of A is equal to 2. So, I can get C as minus 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, minus 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 multiplied by B1, B2, B3. By observation, we can say that C is a, has a non-trivial solution. This has a non-trivial solution. If this has a non-trivial solution, we can say that these columns are linearly dependent. The second part of this problem is and they span r to the power 3. Second problem is B is given to us as 2, 4, 8. So, I can write this as minus 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, this is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5. It has been given as B value is 2, 4, 8. By simplifying this, I am going to get minus 1 plus 2 plus 4, 1 minus 2 plus 4, 1 plus 2 minus 4. That will give 
5 3 minus 1. So, I can write the equation in the matrix form 2 4 8 is equal to C 1, C 1 is 5 multiplied by the vector 0 1 1 plus C 2 is 3, it is multiplied by 1 0 1 and C 3 is minus 1 multiplied by 1 1 0. As you can see here, this is 5 C 1, C 2 is 3, then C 3 is minus 1. So, we can say that it has a non-trivial solution. Thank you. In the next video, we will see different types of bases that is null space, left null space, column space and row space. How to obtain them from a given set of vectors.